Hey, good day. This is Peter, KJ5AJB, with Ham Radio Crib Notes, and uh, today we're going to talk about being able to access your ham clock, uh, depending on the platform you've got it on. Mine is on the end of Auto Quadra, and uh, via other devices like your iPad or tablet or phone or whatever. Um, kind of comes in handy if you're not in the same room or in your shack where your where your ham clock is or your radio equipment's displayed or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna it's gonna depend on your installation and uh, and your setup. So like I said, mine's on the Innovata Quadra, so that's what I'm gonna work with today. So you're gonna have to get some uh, few things together. It's not it's not too terribly difficult, but the info you're going to need, you're going to need your local IP address of the for the access to ham clock itself. And a lot of times that's displayed right on the front screen of your ham clock in the upper left corner before below your call sign. Uh, the other way you can get it is when you start ham clock up, it'll display it. And also the other info you need is the ports to access it. So I've seen some instances where in the past that the other folks have had port 8080. Uh, mine happened to be 8081 or 8082. Port 8081 gives you the live feed that you can interact with. And port 8082 gives you a live feed that you're locked out of the controls on it. So, but both of them work pretty good. So anyways, I'm going to switch this over to uh, my... Uh, in a Vada display and uh, let you see that real quick. Quick time viewer. There we go. All right. Cause, so you can see here my ham clock is running. And uh, if you look right up here underneath where my uh, call sign is, that's the uh, external public IP address that's still displaying now. It's showing the Wi-Fi signal. It'll cycle through, and there's my local. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm running version 4.0.3. So depending on what version you're using, it might differ. So i got to switch keyboards here. Let me go here. Hold it down. Okay, I'm going to restart it, and uh, I want you to pay attention to the startup screens. And it'll show where your ports are and stuff. It'll show your IP addresses on the left-hand side in the startup screens, and it'll show your ports on the right-hand side. So, so we're going to restart ham clock. We're going to click on OK. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to just go to the, I'll let it go through the countdown roll. So there's your local and public on the left. And on the right, your live read white web port is 8081 on mine, and read only is 8082. You got a max of 10 connections, which shows. Now she's loading everything up. It's taking a bit. All right, so I'm going to switch to my uh, web browser here real quick. There comes the map now. All right. So my web browser here, which is Safari because I'm on a Mac, you see at the top here, I've got my IP address with the colon 8080 slash live.html. When you put that in on mine, it sits there and waits for a while, but then it feeds you back this list of commands for the, uh, for the uh, ham clock itself. 
So that's some good, useful info there. I took and copy and pasted it into a note somewhere for myself for future. So. So this one here is 8082, which is. The, so it's 8082 forward slash live dot html on this one. So I'll refresh it here so you can get an idea what it. And there we go. So right now I'm looking via a web browser at my ham clock app on my Innovato. You can see the time counting up. And it, it just pretty much shows you everything you need to see. So it's kind of handy. So, And uh, if you're on your uh, tablet or your phone with a web browser, you can do the exact same thing. So this one here is the 8081 port. And one thing you'll notice between the two here is if you look at the padlock here, there's no red line under it. So I can actually access things on here if I need to. Okay. Uh, the 8082 port, the one you can't control, you notice you'll got a red bar underneath the padlock here. All right, so I'll pop my iPad open now. Open my web browser and go to the same thing. And let me switch back to myself here. Oop, wrong one. Did, 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 did. There we go. And here you can see on my iPad, I'm viewing it live on here. Being my, I'm on iCloud, my bookmarks sync all the way across. So I can also open my phone. He keeps wanting to switch back to the camera. And get the same thing. Yeah, getting some glare on it. There you go. So I hope this helped you out. Hope you enjoy the uh, the uh, use of it. Some more info. I didn't know this could do this until I happened to come across some other stuff. Um, there's another video I'm going to work on be working on and that's going to be doing some type of dashboard on the Innovata Quadra and I'll uh, post another video for that here in the future so this is KJ5AJB uh, signing off for now and you all take care and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, till next time